Previously on McLeod's Daughters. Am I your girlfriend? First time I saw you. What's going on with Sandra? All right, we had a fight. She walked out. We haven't heard from her for a few days. All right. I pronounce Nick and Tess husband and wife. <laughs> I guess I can call you wifey now. <laughs> Yeah. The baby's yours, Nick. First Ryan grandson. <laughs> Isn't he adorable? No arguments now. You're coming back to will the leaving if it's only for a few weeks. Have a look at him, Tess. Think I'm doing to top this fella, eh? You okay? No, not really. You? No, but 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 we've got all this, haven't we? How bit of country. <laughs> It'll take some time to find your heart and come back home. You could walk for miles, cross it every river and find your life. Times three dried soup, calamine lotion. What? Hey, that's the stuff you're not bringing, right? Well, it's all important, Stevie. Wet weather gear, first aid kit, food. Hey, it's a one-day muster. Find cattle in back paddock, bring cattle back, vaccinate them. Now, Harvard will pack a stretcher for your horse. Ladies. Hey, slow day at the office. Yeah, I thought I'd uh, give you a hand with the muster. Ah, oh, thanks, but we'll be right. I need to get away from Kalani. Between Nick and the baby, Harry mooning over Sandra, I'm the only sane bloke in the Ryan family at the moment. Oh, yes, yeah, says you. <laughs> hey! Can I have my worker back, please? Uh, yeah, sure. <coughs> What's the problem, Steve? You've got plenty of time. Not if you're planning on wearing that. What are you saying? I'm overdressed. Ah. Come on. Hello? Coming. That's the last of it. to have settled in. Oh, hi. Okay? I hardly have to get a thing. You guys have thought of everything. Oh, I bought, um, I bought you some bath gel and some soap and there's body lotion in there as well. Oh, Tess, these are lovely. Is he awake? Shh, he's asleep. Oh, sorry. Let's hope he stays that way, at least for another hour. You OK? Yeah, it's just a bit stuffy in here. So, who wants a cup of tea? No, no, I really got to get going. Yeah, Nick, you stay? No, go. I'm just going to take it easy, unpack bit by bit. You sure? I'm sure. Now go.
No, no, it's not a problem. Right. Sally, no hot water in the house. Probably just a pilot light. Right, uh, well, whatever it is, you better go check it out. You can't uh, leave it with a baby and no hot water. When you get back from the muster, how would you like a hot bath just ready and waiting? With bubbles? Yeah, I'm sure that could be arranged, yeah. I'll see you tonight, then. Thank you. They have got to be the thickest animals God ever put breath into. Yeah, but they're cute, mate, and they've got long eyelashes. Cute. Brewer, mm. I'll catch you later. King Harold, 3 o'clock, right. Mm. 3 o'clock, right. Right. Hey, uh, did you get Tess to go on the muster? Oh, yeah. Good I Keep her busy best thing, eh? Yeah, that's what I reckon. OK, well, I'll go check on Kate, make sure she hasn't packed the kitchen sink. <laughs> Bad case of Manfredi list syndrome. <laughs> Hey. Hey. So how are the girls? Oh, ready to be vaccinated, I reckon. OK, well, we can do them when we bring the cattle in. You be good, Isabel. Yeah, not the most responsive pet, are they? No, not at all. You give them all your time and affection, and what do you get back? Grunts. I do love them, though. <sighs> hey, Tess. <clears throat> Pick one. Are you sure? Yes, I am. Right, I. You and your husband will grow happily old and wrinkled together. And, uh, and nothing and no one will ever part you. What does the other one say? Uh, when you reach 70, plastic surgery may be an option. <laughs> I'm glad we got that sorted. I'm fine, honestly. Mm. 